In this video tutorial, we will be showing you how to use the spline command. To learn how to use the spline command, you need to open up your student shape, shape worksheet uh, drawing from box.com and then hone in or zoom in to the spline tangencies area. So the first thing we want to do is we want to type in the word spline. And if you read the command prompt, it says to select first point. So before we do that, you want to go down to your object snap, go to the settings, and make sure the only one you have on is intersection. Also make sure your green layer is broadcasting. So once you type in spline, it says specify first point. Here's my first point right there. Then I need to go back down and select start tangency. And if we notice right here, it says our start tangency is at 1 less than 0. So from last known point, at symbol, 1, shift comma is less than, and then 0, that's going to determine how far down our spline is pulled. But you won't see it until I pick the next point. Now you can start to see how it's pulling down. And then it asks, enter next point. So I'll do that. And then I'll go down to end tangency. And I'll enter at symbol 1, less than 0, enter. And you can see that end tangency is listed right there. So those tangencies pull the spline down. And that's one of the ways people create nice cathedral-style splines. So that's how you use the spline with the tangencies option.